All right, well, at this time, I'm going to introduce Ari Bisk, who's joining Silas Bronson Library tonight for a card magic show. Thank you all for coming. Take it away. All right, great. Thank you so much, Mary Beth. Uh, my name is Ari. I'm super excited to share some magic with everyone today. Uh, I see Cyril. Well, is, am I saying your name correctly, Cyril? Awesome. And I also see um, it says me. I'm not sure if those are initials. Um, please feel free to uh, type in whatever name you want to be referred to as because I'm going to be making this um, interactive. So I'll be calling on people throughout the program. So just make sure your name is typed in the way you want to be referred to. Um, I have a second camera set up to the side over here. That way I can see uh, your names and your cameras if they're on. Uh, if you see something that you like and you want to react, feel free to unmute yourself um, and speak. Uh, you can call us the Cohen family. Okay, great, Cohen family, welcome. Um, feel free to unmute yourself, react, and then mute yourself again just so there's no background noise. Uh, if you want to type like the Cohen family is typing, that works great uh, too. All right. Um, and also when I, when I do call on you and you're speaking, just speak loudly and clearly so we can all hear. There might be a small delay uh, from the time that you say something. For example, I might ask you to say a word like stop in helping me to select a card. It might be a very small delay, but nothing to worry about. All right, so let's get started here. I'm going to angle the screen down so you can see my hands and the cards nice and clearly. Everyone can see I have a piece of paper written down with the color green. That's my uh, first prediction. And on the other side of that piece of paper, I have a second prediction. I'll show you that in just a moment. And I also have a poker chip. Oh, where did I put that poker chip? Oh, there it is. We'll use a poker chip towards the end of the show. But first, we're gonna need a card selected. Uh, Cyril, if you can start us off, you can unmute yourself, Cyril. And as I deal the cards down, if you could just say stop nice and loud whenever you'd like. Sure, okay. And stop. Great, right here? Sure. Awesome. Now, Cyril, I'm going to show you my prediction first, so I can't yeah. do any. So I can't do anything sneaky. I predicted the five of hearts. And okay. look at this, everyone. Yeah. And look at this, everyone. Cyril, stop on precisely the five of hearts. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, Cyril, I'm also excited to show you. My first prediction, the color green also matches the back of the card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could tell that Cyril doesn't you know, seem uh, so enthused about that. And that's fine, Cyril. I wanna show you why I find that really interesting. Look at this, everyone. The back of this card is green, but the rest of the card, Cyril, the backs are all red. Each and every card is all red except for your green five of hearts. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, awesome. That great job nailing both of those um, predictions. Let's go with the Cohen family. Cohen family, can you guys unmute and help us out with the next one? Oh, sure. We're getting, awesome, we're getting some more, um, some more people in, that's great. Violet and Hayden, welcome. Uh, Cohen family, uh, as I riffle down the side of the deck here, just say stop nice and loud whenever you'd like. Okay. Stop. Right here? Yes. Great. Okay. It's the two of spades. It's okay that I know the value in the suit. It's important that everyone remembers the two of spades. And I'll leave the two somewhere about middle. And <coughs> someone also in that, that same family, can you just name a color, but not red? Blue. Blue. I heard someone yell out blue. Awesome. Since you yelled out blue, that means one card in the deck must now change to the color blue. Okay, so here, I'll show you all of the cards here are red, but you want a blue card. So look at this, right in the middle of the deck, you see it, is a blue card. Wow. Now, uh, can you remind us what your card was? I can't, I can't remember, nice and loud. Two of spades. Two of spades. The two, look at this, the blue card is the two of spades. Thank you, Cyril, thank you. Now, there's a rule in magic, everyone, and that is to never do the same card trick twice. 
But tonight, I'm going to break that rule for everyone right now. I'll mix up the cards one last time. Cohen family, just like you did before, as I riffle down the side of the pack, say stop nice and loud whenever you like. Stop. Right here? Yes. Okay, this time, okay, it's another speed, but this time it's a picture card, the queen of spades. Everyone memorize the queen of spades as I lose the queen into the middle. And the rule is only one card can change to the color blue. So let's see if we can make this happen for a second time. Here we go. All of these cards are red. We should find one blue card. And you know what, Mary Beth? This is why we don't do the same card trick twice. Uh-oh, where'd it go? Uh, does anyone see a blue card? Anyone from the Cohen family? Cyril, Mary Beth, Violet? Cyril? No. On, On the, the table. table. On the table. You know what? I'm really excited. This group, more than one person is super observant. You guys know that there's one blue card on the table, and I'm super impressed. This is the only blue card I have. So this is the only chance I have. Cohen family, what was your card? Queen of spades. Look at this, everyone. The blue card is the queen of spades. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to get rid of the blue cards. We don't need the green cards anymore. We're going to stick with just the uh, the red cards here. And Violet and Hayden, can you guys unmute yourselves? Awesome. Uh, is this Violet Hayden? Yeah. Violet, Violet, as I riffle down the side of the deck, say stop nice and loud, just like um, the Cohen family did, okay? Stop. Right here? Yeah. All right. We're going to keep your card a secret towards the very end. And what I'm going to try to do, everyone, is find a four of a kind without even knowing the value of the card that Violet stopped at. So I'll start out by taking a random card from the middle. It doesn't really matter. We'll start with this card right here, the uh, King of Diamonds. All right. So we'll leave the king face down. And now I'm going to try to find the other matching kings in the deck. I think I can get one king up to the top here. No, that wasn't it. Let me try again here. I think we can get another king up to the top. There it is, the uh, king of spades. That's it, king of spades. So hopefully I can find the last king. This is the toughest king to find since there's only one more in the deck. But I'm going to try to get this king to shoot out from the middle here. There it is, the king of hearts. So hopefully, Violet, you stopped on our last king. Are you ready to see how you did? Yeah. Here it is. Oh. Violet, I think you stopped on the wrong card. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Violet. I'm only kidding. I'm going to try to fix this, everyone. If I tap my kings with Violet's Ace of Diamonds, I think this works. Look at it. Look at this, everyone they all change to aces. Thank you, Cyril, thank you. So Violet, you stopped on the perfect card, the ace of diamonds, great job. <laughs> We're gonna get rid of the uh, two red aces. We won't need those. We'll leave the two black aces off to the side. And Hayden, Hayden, can you uh, name a number up to 10, a number up to 10, Hayden? Eight. You said eight? Yes. We'll take the eighth card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the eighth card. Hayden, it's okay if I know what it is. Everyone remember the seven of hearts. Okay? Now, Hayden, would it be a cool trick if I can get the seven of hearts sandwiched between the two black aces? Would that be cool? Yes. Watch this, Hayden. With a couple cuts, the trick is done. <laughs> Cyril enjoys that. Thank you, Cyril. <laughs> I, I, but Hayden, I'm only kidding. I know that you want just one card sandwiched in between the aces and not all of them. So if, let me see if I can do that for you. Look at this. The aces from one hand to the next. Here we go. There is one card for you, Hayden. And it just so happens to be the seven of hearts. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate the, those spirits. Why do you do that? 
<laughs> a lot of practice, Violet, a lot of practice. <laughs> Here we go. I'll show you that one, one another time, Hayden, uh, Violet and Hayden, because it might've been a little fast. We'll if we take that seven of hearts and we we'll leave it somewhere about middle here, I'll push it all the way in. You can clearly see everyone, there's nothing on the back of the two black aces. If I take that ace of clubs and that ace of spades and I give them a little bit of a shake, look, one card shoots in between. <laughs> Cyril's already applauding. Thank you, Cyril. <laughs> look at this. It is, again, our seven of hearts. Now, I'm going to let you in on a little bit of a secret. Um, Mary Beth, you can clearly see that the seven of hearts goes about middle, right? Right. The secret is the seven of hearts always stays on top of the deck. I'll show you again. If we take the seven and I put it about middle and I push it all the way in, you see how it looks like it goes in the middle. But it the did. secret, it did. <laughs> the secret is it always stays on the top. Watch again, nice and slow. I'll push that seven forward so you can see it one last time. Everyone sees that seven of hearts? It really looks like it goes about middle. Yeah? But this time, it actually jumps up to my mouth. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I appreciate those round of applause. Thank you. Now, I'll be honest. Sometimes I do make a mistake. I'll take that seven, I put it somewhere about middle, and I want it to jump up to the top, but I make a mistake. I end up with that ace of diamonds, all right? So it's a red card, but it's not that seven of hearts. So what I do is I give that ace of diamonds a little bit of a shape and it changes to the seven of hearts. So in case I make a mistake, I can always resort to that quick sh uh, uh, shake and it should work all the time. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, let's go back to, um, let's go back to the Cohen family. Cohen family, I'm gonna, yes. mix the, I'm gonna mix up the cards in a very strange way. Can you just say stop nice and loud whenever you'd like? Oops. Yep. Stop. Wait, like. right, right here. I'll leave yeah. that seven. I'll leave the seven face down and I'll keep mixing the card all the way through. People try to mess me up when they mix up the cards like this. We have a big mess. We have cards that are face to back. We have cards that are back to face. We have other cards that are face to face, a big mess, right? Yeah. Now, after mixing up the cards and showing you how mixed up they are, would you be impressed if the cards are now all facing the same direction? Definitely. Definitely, awesome. Let's take it one step further. All the cards facing the same direction except our seven of hearts. Would that be cool? Yes. Look at this, everyone. All of the cards are facing one direction. Whoa. One card and one card only is face down amongst all the rest. And it is our seven of hearts. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, so far, I've been the one finding the cards. Yes. And that's cool. It's been fun. But I want to try to up the ante. I want to see if you guys can find the seven of hearts. I'll show you what I mean. If I leave the seven in the middle, I'll mix them up a little bit. And Cyril, if you can think of a number between one and 52, and whatever number you say, it'll be the exact location, hopefully, of where that seven of hearts is. Now, before you say that number out loud, Cyril, um, understand that if you say a really high number, like in the 40s, I then have to count that high. Okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so <laughs> whatever number you want, when you're ready, say it out loud, Cyril. 12. 12. So I will say 12. Awesome. We'll count to 12. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is the 12th card, Cyril. Do you want me to keep going or are you happy with the 12th card? I'm happy. Cyril's happy. Awesome. Cyril, had you said 13? It would have been the two of clubs. So it's a good thing you didn't go one more. One less, the six of hearts. That would have been close. That would have been close. But Cyril said 12, did not want to change his mind. And look at this, Cyril. 
we found the seven of hearts. Round of applause for Cyril finding that seven of hearts. Awesome job, yeah. <laughs> we'll leave that seven again somewhere about middle. And now we're gonna use this poker chip. All right, the one I had talked about before we started. And I'm going to, uh, let's go with um, Mary Beth. Mary Beth, okay. I'm going to spread out the cards so you can see them. Keep them all in frame here. And all you have to do, Mary Beth, is say stop. And when you do, I'll put the poker chip down on the spread. Stop. Right, right here. Yes. I'm gonna angle, I'm gonna move the camera in a little bit closer because we're only keeping the cards that the poker chip are touching. Now, Mar Mary Beth, since there might be a, a, a small delay, it's up to you. We can leave the poker chip where it is, or we can move it towards the top or the bottom, whatever you like. Okay, go to my right a little bit. Is that the bottom? No, the top. The top, okay. Here's good? All right, good. Okay, thank you. Now, keep me honest, I think it's touching this card. Would you agree? Mm. If it's not, tell me and I'll eliminate it. Okay, it's not touching that card. Very good. Okay. This card, I think it's touching, and touching. I don't think it's this one eliminate. Right. All right, we'll eliminate it. Awesome. All right, Mary Beth, you have narrowed down the choices. Oh, look at this, just four choices. Uh, can you give us a number? One, two, three, or four. Whichever one you say is where the poker chip will go. Three. Three. One, two, and three. All right, awesome. We're looking for the seven of hearts. Mary Beth, had you said number one, it would have been the Jack of Clubs. So we're safe. It wasn't number one. Mary Beth, just like Cyril had a chance to change his mind, you too can move this poker chip only if you want. All right, go left. Oh, two. wow. Yeah. No, one, the other left. Three. Yes. <laughs> okay, wow. Well, I'll be honest, Mary Beth, I always get nervous when people start changing their minds. It's rare that they do. So let's see how you did here. Yeah. Oh, another two, two of spades. Good decision. One last chance to change your mind, but again, only if you want. I'll stay. I'm going to stay this time. All right. Well, underneath this card here, let's take a look. It happens to be the queen of clubs, so we're safe there also. Now, Mary Beth, how would you feel if after saying stop on the spread and then moving the poker chip just a little bit, narrowing our choice to four cards, and then selecting a number, moving it once, changing your mind, how would you feel if after doing all of that, underneath the poker chip is the seven of hearts? Pretty amazed. Pretty amazed, awesome. Take a close look, everyone, because underneath the poker chip is the seven of hearts. Everyone see that right there? <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate the round of applause. I'm glad I hear some laughing. <laughs> because I know, Mary Beth, that's not what you expected or probably wanted. <laughs> I know that most of us are probably sitting there thinking that's, that might be funny, but you really want to know what this card is. Yeah, you're shaking your head. Well, right. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. It, it rarely works out that way because it's, you know, you made all the, the choices. So I always, I you know, hope to get a laugh and then anything after that is, is extra. But, you know, let, let, let's see how we did. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mary Beth, you found our seven of hearts. Great job. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this uh, poker chip and we're going to use the seven of hearts one last time. I'll leave it about middle. And I've actually been practicing trying to find cards by feel. Uh, if I just cover up the deck, I'm going to try to find my favorite card. It happens to be the queen of hearts. So if I just reach in here, uh, let me see here. Yep, yeah, that's it. The queen of hearts. I always know where that queen of hearts is. Thank you, Cyril. Thank you. <laughs> I always know where that is. But the seven of hearts feels a little bit differently. There's less ink on the uh, seven compared to the picture cards. And the hearts are in very specific spots in, on that card. So let me see if I can find that for you. That's definitely not it. That's a black card. Hold on, a diamond. It's a heart, but it's, I think that might be the five. Wait a minute. I think this is it. I'm going to go with this one. I think it is the... Seven of hearts, yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's take things one step further again. If we take our seven, we make it disappear with the rest of the deck. Look, 
we're left with just a clear glass case. And at this point, everyone always asks me, Ari, where'd the seven of hearts go? Where'd the rest of the deck go? And Violet and Hayden, would you believe me if I told you the seven of hearts ate up the entire deck and it's the biggest card I have? Would you believe me, Violet and Hayden? No. You wouldn't believe me because it sounds ridiculous, right? Yeah. I want to show you, I want to show you something. Look at this. Underneath my card mat is one big card. And it just so happens to be our seven of hearts. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Beth. So there you have it. Um, I would like to uh, share a few other things with us. I brought with me a little game. I like to play games. Um, I'm going to use the Ace of Hearts and the Joker. Um, Cyril, can you help us play this game? Sure. My dog's quiet now, so I can talk. Oh, fantastic. Great. We can all play. Uh, Cyril, you, you'll start unmuted now. Follow the Ace as I mix them up nice and slow. <clears throat> Cyril, is the Ace under number one or number two? Number one. Excellent. You said that with a lot of uh, conviction and you'd be right under number one. Now I'm going to have to make it a little bit more challenging. Okay. I'm going to add another joker. All right. So now there's two jokers and one ace and Cyril, all you have to do is follow that ace. And if I put it on the table, where would you naturally say it went on the table? Yeah, I, I can hear your question now, and I, I that, that that's good because actually on the table is the Joker, and in my hand is our Ace. I'll make it a little bit easier this time. I'll leave a Joker on the table and I'll mix these cards up right here. And now, Cyril, where's the Ace? Oh, uh, knowing you, I'm thinking it might be on the table. You think it's on the table, Cyril? You're starting to think like a magician. <laughs> because in my hand, in my hand is in fact a joker and on the table is the ace. Most people get tricked up like that. I like how you're thinking, Cyril. It's supposed I'll to be you. impossible. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. I'm glad you're catching on. That's good. That's smart. I'm now going to take our ace. I'm going to get rid of it. And we're going to use just these two jokers right here. Now, Cyril, you're watching carefully. Where is the ace? It's off the table, out of the screen. I can't see it. A hundred percent, but actually I have an ace in my hand and I put the, <laughs> and I took the joker and I put it off to the side. Let's try again. I'll leave the ace on the table, just like I did earlier. Cyril, where is the ace? It's on the table. Obviously, but actually I have a third joker. <laughs> so we're, thank you, Cyril. We're using three jokers here. And I want to be honest with everyone, Cyril, I'm cheating. I'm using four cards. All right. Um, magicians cheat. I'm no exception. And I, I am sorry about that. So Cyril, from here on out, I really want you to win. I really do. So I'm going to leave an ace on the table. Cyril, where's the ace? Uh, it should be on the table. And it is. You're my friend, Cyril. I want you to win. Okay. <laughs> but, but right now... <laughs> Right now, you only have one in three chances at winning. That's not good enough for me. So if I leave a joker on the table, I snap my fingers and Cyril, I've now doubled your chances at winning. Still not good enough for me, Cyril. Two thirds, not good. One more time, snap my fingers. Here's a third ace. And Cyril, when you play this game with me, I'm gonna make sure that you win each and every time. Wonderful. Thank you, I appreciate that, Cyril. You were a, a good sport with that. That could be a, a tough game to play and, and you were fantastic. So thank you for your participation. <laughs> All right, um, I brought uh, another deck of cards with me. And what I've done with this deck, um, I took out the jokers, I took out the extra cards and one card in this deck is actually turned upside down. I did this earlier today. I don't even remember what card it, it was. So together we're gonna create a random card together and we're gonna see how we do. So we're going to start with the Cohen family. Uh, if someone can just name either black or red, and whichever color you guys say, we will keep. Black or red? Red. Red. Awesome. We'll keep the red cards. Um, we'll go with Violet. Violet, can you unmute? And can you just say either diamonds or hearts? Whichever one you say, we'll keep, Violet. 
Heart. Hearts. Okay, great, Violet. And Hayden, would you like us to keep the odds or the evens? The odds. The odds. Are you sure, Hayden, or would you like to change your mind? I'm sure. Okay, we'll keep the hearts. Uh, Mary Beth, we've narrowed our choices down to a heart and an odd. Now, normally I would say any odd number, one, three, five, seven, or nine, but since we used the seven of hearts earlier, you know, you can say the seven, but, you know, we were using that all, you know, for the most of the performance. So um, just keep that in mind. Can we go with a five? Yeah, absolutely. If you want the five of hearts, that, that's, that's fine. Is that what you want? Okay. All right, great. Uh, five of hearts, really random card. Let's open up the pack and see how we do. Uh, you'll start to see that all the cards are facing one direction. Here's, uh, oh, look, here's one card face down amongst all the rest. I'll separate that from the pack and then I'll spread out each and every card so you can and see so that you can see that they're all facing up. And we started with 52 cards. Someone said red uh, from the Cohen family. Violet wanted um, the hearts. Hayden wanted odds and Mary Beth wanted the uh, five of hearts. Let's see. Mary Beth. Was it the five or did you want to change your mind? One last chance. Hmm. I'm thinking about a three, but let's stick with a five. Woo. It's a good thing you kept it right there. It's a five of hearts. Hey. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Wow, I wonder what would happen if you said the three right there. <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, uh, I would like to try one last thing with everyone. Um, and this is actually going to um require someone to uh, add to the uh, the spotlight. Uh, Cyril, would you mind being added to the spotlight? Awesome. Mary Beth, all you have to do is go over Cyril's name just like you did before and um, and and click it just like you did and it'll, and it'll add. Okay. And Cyril should be with us. It's not letting me do that right now. Hold on one second. You can't add two people? If you can't, it, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's not a problem. Not working. Not a problem. Cyril, all you have to do, I'm going to keep my face and the deck of cards in frame because all the tricks that we did today, it was okay if I knew what the card was. But right now, I cannot know what it is. All right, so um, you're going to say stop. I'm going to show you your card. Everyone remember it. Don't say it at all. Okay, Cyril, I'm going to look away. Say stop whenever you'd like. Stop. Right here? Yeah. You can That's see That's good. It. Yep. Great. I'm going to lose it in the back. Do you remember it, Cyril? Sure, I do. Awesome. Just think about your card, Cyril. I can see your screen. I'm going to try to read your tells. If you don't know what a tell is, it's something that Cyril <laughs> might, <laughs> it's something Cyril might do um, with his body language or something in, you know, like that, that might give something very small, something subtle, some information that I'm looking for. So sorry, we'll just think about the color, black, red. Okay, so, all right. So Cyril is nodding a lot, but he initially started nodding his head when I said black. So I think it's a black card. Yeah, so all these things Cyril I'm looking for, I could tell that it's a black card. So it's either a spade or a club. Cyril thinks spade club, spade club. He's not moving at all. It's a much better poker face. Spade club, spade club. All right, this time, since, since um, before Cyril was nodding when I said um, black first, now he's not doing anything. Oh, I think you froze, all right. I'm not sure if you guys can see me, but Ari's frozen my screen. Oh no. Um, can can is he moving for you? No, I can't get him back oh, either. Oh dear. What I'm gonna do, if you guys could come hey, back. Take him a in, moment to come back. Yeah. I'm gonna start the meeting again. Okay. Oh wait, here he is. Here he is. Oh good. You guys with me? You jumped to the other computer. Good, smart job, Barry. 
Uh, Mary Beth, I changed I changed my camera. <laughs> okay. If you can, yeah, I could you could you could swap me over to. Oh, there we go. There, we go. Oh, there it is. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Gremlins. I'm sorry, I'm having troubles too. I can't see you guys. I can see Ari, uh, but I can't hear you, Ari. Oh, you're you're muted now. Sorry. Oh, you're still muted. Can you unmute him? I got it. Sorry, I got confused with the got cameras. It. Okay, great. Cyro, we're down with a spade. It's a spade. Yes. All right. Awesome. And Mary Beth, as as we do this, if you could try to uh, get my camera um, spotlighted, that'd be great. Ari, I wish I could. I can't see you guys at all. All right, not a problem. We'll keep going. Uh, okay. Cyril, we know it's a spade. Can out loud, Cyril, can you say, um, count up to 10 for me, count up to 10. <clears throat> sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Excellent. Cyril, you do that very well. Most people, will go really fast or really slow at the beginning. And you were pretty on point. I'm not 100% sure. And just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take just a guess. I think, I think just because, you know what? Since you were very in the middle of the everything, counting very evenly, I'm gonna guess that your card's somewhere in the middle. Would that be accurate? Yes, it would. All right, great, would. okay, okay. Now, um, let's try this. Cyril, I need you to say yes to everything I say, no matter what. Yes. Okay, great. Is your card the five of spades? Yes. Is your card the six of spades? Yes. Is your card the seven of spades? Yes. Cyril, this is my final guess. I believe your card was the six of spades. All right, fantastic. Yes. yes, now that yes is correct. Awesome, awesome. I'm so happy, Cyril. Thank you for participating. That, that was great. Um, that, 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 was, uh, that, that was fun. Um, I would like to end with one last uh, trick. And actually, I'm going to finish by uh, teaching a trick. All right, this is a really simple trick. Um, it doesn't involve cards or anything. So, you know, don't worry if you don't have, you know, if, if you don't have anything. I'm going to quickly... Um, Present the trick, I'll perform it, and then um, and then I'll teach you how it's done. Sound good? All right, great. Uh, let's have, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bring a few things here that I keep around the house. I'm gonna angle the screen down so you can see. I have um, some protein. I have a small container of peanut butter. And I also have a container of yogurt. Can I have someone from the Cohen family? Someone from the Cohen family, you guys there? Yeah, yeah. All right, awesome. Can you just name uh, either yogurt, peanut butter, or protein? And whichever one you say, we'll keep. Protein. The protein, awesome. Do you guys wanna change your mind or do you wanna keep the protein? Keep. keep. We're gonna keep it, fantastic. Now, would you believe I actually knew you were gonna say protein? Really? I did. Do you want me to prove it? Yeah. Look at this. On the back of the protein container, I wrote a prediction and it says that you will pick protein. The other ones also say it, right? Oh, you wanna see the backs of the other ones too? Yeah. Huh. All right. You know, only because you asked, and I'll be honest, I do have uh, predictions written behind the other ones. I'll show you. Behind the yogurt, it says that you will pick protein. Whoa. And behind the peanut butter, it says that you will pick protein. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Thank you, I appreciate that. Do you guys wanna learn how that's done? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome, I'm gonna teach you. Now, before I um, reveal the secret to the trick, I do hope that uh, sometimes when I reveal tricks, the, um, 
the magic is ruined. And I don't want to ruin the magic for you. Instead, I hope that uh, it inspires you or it kind of lets you into how simple magic can be and how clever it is um, that, you know, in, that, that I believe uh, magic to be. So I'm going to reveal the trick and then I'll teach you, um, you know, kind of by revealing it, you'll, you'll learn how it's done. Um, the name of the trick or the, the idea behind it is called multiple outs. I had an out for whatever um, the Cohen family, whatever the Cohen, Cohen family said. I'll show you what I mean. Had they said um, yogurt, I'll, I'll, I'll show you again. Had they said yogurt, instead of turning the containers around, I would have simply showed you the bottom of the container. And underneath, I have a prediction that says you will pick yogurt for all of the uh, selections. Okay. And had you said, thank you, Cyril, thank you. Had you said peanut butter, I would have unscrewed the top of the container here. And it says that you will pick peanut butter underneath all of the containers here. So depending on what the Cohen family, thank you, I appreciate it. I'm glad you guys like the, uh, like the secret. I see some smiles, some nods, and some claps. Uh, underneath here we have that uh, you will pick peanut butter. So I had all my bases covered. Whatever was selected, um, I was going, it would determine what I did. Now, if you want to perform this, what all, all you have to do is uh, what I did. Um, I took some post-its and I made sure that they were the right size because you want to hide them, obviously. And then I took some, uh, some tape. I taped them down so they're nice and smooth, trying to hide them as best I can. Um, if you could, you could do this uh, in person, uh, just make sure no one's behind you. Uh, and if you want to do it virtually, obviously it, it works. It works great virtually as well. Uh, what happened with this performance when the Cohen family said, oh, let me see the backs of the other containers. That was perfect. That's what the magician wants. Cause you know, that's, you know, that, that's the kind of, you know, they think they, they think the Cohen family might've thought, oh, I, I got him. I know how this is done. And then when you reveal that, oh yeah, sure. Behind these, I do have predictions and it says all, they will all match. That's, that's, that's what you hope. If they don't say that, you know, I would say something, you know, is that enough for you to believe me? Don't you want to, I would kind of lead them to say, oh, let me, let me see the other, the other containers. So kind of lead them on in that way. Um, you can also get creative with this where, thank you, Cyril. Uh, let's say you're traveling and you don't want to carry around, you know, three containers. You can get creative with this. Um, let's say you have three different colored envelopes. Those are small, they pack easy. So you have different colors and on the inside flap, you write on the inside flap, you will pick the orange envelope. And maybe on the back of the envelope, of a second envelope, you will say, you will pick the uh, blue, the blue envelope. And then for the other, the third prediction, inside the envelope, you have a small piece of paper that stays hidden unless they choose uh, the color green. And if they say green, you open up the, um, the envelope without showing the inside flap and you pull out that piece of paper and you say, look, in, inside here, inside all of them, I have uh, predicted that you will pick the color green. So you can get creative um, with how you want to present this trick. It's really up to you um, how many um, different choices you want. You can have three, you can have five. Obviously the more choices, um, the more uh, amazing it is because you know one in three chance, is cool, but a one in 10 chance is even cooler. But then the challenge is where are you gonna hide all these 10 predictions? So, you know, I leave that to you to kind of figure out how you want to present it. Uh, feel free to do it similar to what I just did. All right, so I just wanna leave you with um, saying that you guys were awesome performed for. Uh, happy holidays to everyone. I hope everyone, you know, is doing well and enjoying their family. I want to thank uh, Mary, uh, Mary Beth for uh, hosting and the uh, Silas Bronson for, uh, Library for having me. I do encourage you to practice the, this trick and try to see if you can get uh, some awesome reaction with your friends and family during the holiday time. So have a great night and I wish everyone well. Thank you. Thank you, thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Have a thank great you, night. Bye. My Thanks pleasure. Thanks for coming. Thank you.